In the field of road transport, an interchange is a road junction that typically uses grade separation, and one or more ramps, to permit traffic on at least one highway to pass through the junction without directly crossing any other traffic stream. It differs from a standard intersection, at which roads cross at grade. Interchanges are almost always used when at least one of the roads is a controlled access highway or a limited access divided highway, though they may occasionally be used at junctions between two surface streets. Terminology Note The descriptions of road junctions are for countries where vehicles drive on the right side of the road. For countries where driving is on the left, the layout of the junctions is the same, only left right is reversed. A freeway junction or highway interchange or motorway junction is a type of road junction, linking one motorway to another, to other roads, or sometimes to just a motorway service station. On the UK motorway network, most junctions with other roads are numbered sequentially. In the US, interchanges are either numbered according to cardinal interchange number, or by mileage. A highway ramp or slip road is a short section of road which allows vehicles to enter or exit a controlled access highway. A directional ramp always tends toward the desired direction of travel. This means that a ramp that makes a left turn exits from the left side of the roadway. Left directional ramps are relatively uncommon as the left lane is usually reserved for high speed through traffic. Ramps for a right turn are almost always right directional ramps. Where traffic drives on the left, these cases are reversed. A non directional ramp goes in a direction opposite to the desired direction of travel. Many loop ramps are non directional. A semi directional ramp exits a road in a direction opposite from the desired direction of travel, but then turns toward the desired direction of travel. Many flyover ramps are semi directional. A U turn ramp leaves the road in one driving direction turns over or under it and rejoins in the opposite direction. Weaving is an undesirable situation in which traffic veering right and traffic veering left must cross paths within a limited distance, to merge with traffic on the through lane. The German Autobahn system splits Autobahn to Autobahn interchanges into two types, a four-way interchange, the Autobahn Kreis, where two motorways cross, and a three-way interchange, the Autobahn Drake where two motorways merge. Some on-ramps have a ramp meter, which is a dedicated ramp-only traffic light that throttles the flow of entering vehicles. Complete and incomplete interchanges A complete interchange has enough ramps to provide access from any direction of any road in the junction to any direction of any other road in the junction. A complete interchange between a freeway and another road requires at least four ramps. Complete interchanges between two freeways generally have at least eight ramps as having fewer would considerably reduce capacity and increase weaving. Using U-turns the number for two freeways can be reduced to six, by making cars that want to turn left either pass by the other road first, then make a U-turn and turn right, or turn right first and then make a U-turn. Depending on the interchange type and the connectivity offered other numbers of ramps may be used. For example, if a highway interchanges with a highway containing a collector express system, additional ramps can be used to strictly link the interchanging highway with the collector and express lanes respectively. For highways with high occupancy vehicle lanes, ramps can be used to service these carriageways directly, thereby increasing the number of ramps used. An incomplete interchange has at least one or more missing ramps that prevent access to at least one direction of another road in the junction from any other road in the junction. System interchange, four-way interchanges, the following are styles that are considered as a four-way interchange. Cloverleaf interchange. A cloverleaf interchange is typically a two-level, four-way interchange where all left turns are handled by loop ramps. To go left, Vehicles first cross over or under the targeted route, then bear right onto a sharply curved ramp that turns roughly 270 degrees, merging onto the interchanging road from the right, and crossing the route just departed. Two major advantages of clover leaves is that they require only one bridge, which makes such junctions inexpensive as long as land is plentiful, and that they often do not require any traffic signals to operate. A major shortcoming of clover leaves, however, is weaving, and consequently, the lower capacity of this design.
clover leaves also use a considerable area of land, and are more often found along older highways, in rural areas and within cities with low population densities. A variant design separates all turning traffic into a parallel carriageway to minimize the problem of weaving. Collector and distributor roads are similar, but are usually separated from the main carriageway by a divider, such as a guardrail or jersey barrier. Stack interchange a stack interchange is a four-way interchange whereby left turns are handled by semi-directional flyover under ramps. To go left, vehicles first turn slightly right to exit, then complete the turn via a ramp which crosses both highways, eventually merging with the right turn on ramp traffic from the opposite quadrant of the interchange. A stack interchange, then, has two pairs of left turning ramps, which can be stacked in various configurations above, below, or between the two interchanging highways. Stacks do not suffer from the problem of weaving, and due to the semi-directional flyover ramps and directional ramps, they are generally safe and efficient at handling high traffic volumes in all directions. A standard stack interchange includes roads on four levels, also known as a four-level stack. There are some five-level stacks, however these remain four-way interchanges, since the fifth level actually consists of dedicated ramps for HOV bus lanes or frontage roads running through the interchange. Stacks are significantly more expensive and land-consuming than other four-way interchanges, and additionally may suffer from objections of local residents, because of their high visual impact. Large stacks with multiple levels may have a complex appearance and are often colloquially described as mixing bowls, mix masters, or as spaghetti bowls or spaghetti junctions. Clover stack interchange. Clover stack interchanges are hybrid interchanges, using loop ramps like clover leaves to serve slower or less occupied traffic flow and flyover ramps like stack interchanges to serve faster and higher occupied traffic flow. If local and expressway serving the same directions and each roadway is connected right hand to the interchange, extra ramps are installed. The clover stack design is commonly used to upgrade clover leaf interchanges to increase their capacity and eliminate weaving. Turbine interchange. Another alternative to the four level stack interchange is the turbine interchange. The turbine whirlpool interchange requires fewer levels while retaining semi directional ramps throughout, and as its left turning ramps sweep around the center of the interchange in a spiral pattern in right hand traffic. Turbine interchanges offer slightly less vehicle capacity because the ramps typically turn more often and change height quicker. They also require more land to construct than the typical four-level stack interchange. In areas with rolling or mountainous terrain, turbine interchanges can take advantage of the natural topography of the land due to the constant change in the height of their ramps, and hence these are commonly used in these areas where conditions apply reducing construction costs compared to turbine interchanges built on level ground. Roundabout interchange. A further alternative found often is called a roundabout interchange. This is a normal roundabout except one or both main lines pass under or over the whole interchange. The ramps of the interchanging highways meet at a roundabout or rotary on a separated level above, below, or in the middle of the two highways. Other hybrid interchanges. Hybrid interchanges use a mixture of interchange types and are not uncommon. Their construction can consist of multiple interchange designs such as loop ramps, flyovers and roundabouts. A windmill interchange is similar to a turbine interchange, but it has much sharper turns, reducing its size and capacity. A variation of the windmill, called the diverging windmill, increases capacity by altering the direction of traffic flow of the interchanging highways making the connecting ramps much more direct. The interchange is named for its similar overhead appearance to the blades of a windmill. The Veenplein Junction in the Netherlands was a windmill from its opening in 1977. Since then it was renovated into a complex hybrid, combining stack, windmill and trumpet elements. Divided volleyball interchanges create a wide median between the carriageways of the two interchanging highways, using this space for connecting ramps. Full diamond interchanges are large, multi-level interchanges that use flyover under ramps to handle both right and left turns. On interchanges with U-turns, 
traffic intending to complete a left turn must either pass the interchange, make a U-turn and then exit right, or exit right first and then make a U-turn. There is a rarely used, unnamed type of interchange using a grade-separated design, similar to the at-grade design known as a synchronized split-phasing intersection. It is somewhat like the diverging windmill except that left turn exits use left directional ramps, which, as with the diverging windmill, merge on the left. One such interchange formerly existed between Interstate 95 and I-695 north of Baltimore, which has since been replaced by a four-level stack. There are few of these synchronized split-phasing interchanges, including one in Birmingham, Alabama between I-65 and I-20-I-59, locally called Malfunction Junction. A variation of this type exists in Grand Rapids, Michigan between Interstate 196 and US-131, where only the opposing carriageways of US-131 cross over each other, while the carriageways for I-196 do not cross over, but pass through the interchange on different levels. Three-way interchanges Trumpet interchange. Trumpet interchanges have been used where one highway terminates at another highway. These involve at least one loop ramp connecting traffic either entering or leaving the terminating expressway with the far lanes of the continuous highway. These interchanges are useful for highways as well as toll roads, as they concentrate all entering and exiting traffic into a single stretch of roadway, where toll booths can be installed. A double trumpet interchange version can be found where a toll road meets another toll road or a free highway. They are also useful when most traffic on the terminating highway is going the same direction. The turn that isn't used often would get the slower loop ramp. Occasionally a third ramp can be routed around the loop instead of one of the non-looping ramps. A vehicle will therefore diverge from the continuous highway, cross it, turn 270 degrees left and cross the continuous highway again. An example of this is where the Kingsway Tunnel terminates on the A59 in Liverpool, England, because of the steep gradient of the tunnel approach there was insufficient space for a simple left turning ramp. Trumpet interchanges are named as such due to their resemblance to trumpets. The bell of a trumpet can be seen where the terminating highway begins to interchange with the continuous highway and the resemblance to the tubing is seen along the connecting loop ramps. Directional T interchange. A four-way interchange is typically used when a three-way interchange is required for two or three highways interchanging in semi-parallel perpendicular directions, but it can also be used in right angle case as well. Their connecting ramps can spur from either the right or left side of the highway, depending on the direction of travel and the angle. Directional T's use flyover under ramps for both connecting and mainline segments, and they require a moderate amount of land and moderate costs since only two levels or roadway are typically used. They get their name due to their resemblance to the capital letter T, depending upon the angle from which the interchange is seen and the alignment of the roads that are interchanging. It features directional ramps and can use multi-lane ramps in comparatively little space. Some designs have two ramps in the inside through road crossing each other at a three-level bridge. The disadvantage is that traffic of the terminating road enters and leaves on the passing lane. The T interchange is preferred to a trumpet interchange because a trumpet requires a loop ramp by which speeds can be reduced, but flyover ramps can handle much faster speeds. It is sometimes known as the New England Y, as this design is often seen in the northeastern United States. As with the Braintree split and the northern terminus of MA Route 24, both south of Boston. Semi directional T interchange. Like a directional T interchange, a semi directional T interchange uses flyover under ramps in all directions at a three way interchange. However, in a semi directional T, some of the splits and merges are switched to avoid ramps to and from the passing lane eliminating the major disadvantage of the directional T semi-directional T interchanges are generally safe and efficient, though being three-level interchanges they do require more land and cost more than trumpets. Semi-directional T interchanges are built as two or three-level stacks. Three-level stacks may use an underpass and overpass at a single point. Two-level stacks of a longer bridge or two shorter bridges on the same roadway. Other hybrid interchanges Hybrid interchanges use a mixture of interchange types and are not uncommon. 
their construction can consist of multiple interchange designs such as loop ramps and flyovers. A half clover interchange is essentially half a clover leaf interchange, constructed to connect in just three directions instead of four. These are rarely used due to the traffic weaving that they cause and the large amount of land that they consume, but they can be built in areas where the connecting ramp along the loop of a trumpet interchange is not feasible due to building developments or physical limitations. Half clovers are designed to be readily upgraded to full clover leaves if the terminating highway is ever extended past the through highway. Numerous half clovers exist along I-90 slash I-94 in the Chicago, Illinois area. A three-quarters volleyball interchange is a divided volleyball interchange designed to meet at three points instead of four. Like the half clover, it can easily be upgraded to a fully divided volleyball interchange if the terminating highway is extended beyond the through highway. A T-bone interchange is essentially a compacted directional T interchange with sharper turns and a lower capacity, built when there is insufficient land or funds to build a directional T. Its two flyover flyunder ramps contract together after passing over the through highway, but then they split into two segments, resembling the bone in a T-bone stake. Two-way interchanges. A half trumpet interchange is essentially a trumpet interchange with either its loop ramp or the outer connecting ramp, and only one of its directional ramps, instead of two, designed to meet the continuous highway in one direction, usually on a 90-degree or semi-perpendicular angle. Should the need arise it can easily be upgraded into a full trumpet interchange, making it a three-way interchange. Two examples exist in Michigan, between Main Street and State Highway 14 in Ann Arbor, and between Edward N. Hines Drive and Ford Road. A partial Y interchange is used where one highway terminates at another highway with the same general directional alignment. The trunk of the terminating highway merges with the trunk of the continuous highway. Vehicles traveling into the interchange may only exit traveling in the same direction. This type of interchange is often used for bypass routes, and is named for the shape the two highways confluence makes when drawn on a map, creating a lower case Y. An example exists at the western terminus of State Highway 14 in Michigan. Hybrids, variations, and rare types also exist for two-way interchanges. A basket weave interchange is commonly found on highways using a collector express system or long collector distributor lanes. In a basket weave one highway is able to interchange with itself, allowing traffic traveling in the same direction to switch between carriageways through the use of flyover under ramps created between two carriageways without causing weaving. These interchanges usually involve left exits and entry for the outer carriageway but can be configured to meet on the right. Service interchange, between a controlled or limited access highway and a road without access control, diamond interchange. A diamond interchange is an interchange involving four ramps where they enter and leave the freeway at a small angle and meet the non-freeway at almost right angles. These ramps at the non-freeway can be controlled through stop signs, traffic signals, or turn ramps. Diamond interchanges are much more economical in use of materials and land than other interchange designs, as the junction does not normally require more than one bridge to be constructed. However their capacity is lower than other interchanges and when traffic volumes are high they can easily become congested. A dumbbell interchange is similar to the diamond interchange, but uses a pair of roundabouts to join the ramps with the non-highway. This typically increases the efficiency of the interchange when compared to a diamond. A dog bone interchange is similar to the dumbbell interchange except the roundabouts do not form a complete circle, instead having a raindrop, or teardrop shape. This does not impede normal traffic movement, as the eliminated portions are only useful for U-turns on the cross street. Parklaw interchange folded diamond. A parklaw interchange, also known as a partial clover leaf, is an interchange usually involving four to six ramps, two of which are loop ramps, which connect to the non-highway. The park long is a safer modification of the clover leaf design. Depending on the number of ramps used, they take up a moderate to large amount of land and are typically inexpensive to build. Park laws with more ramps have a greater capacity and efficiency than park laws with fewer ramps. Park laws are sometimes called a folded diamond when only four ramps, in two quadrants, are used. 
if the loop ramps are constructed opposite or mirrored along the highway, weaving is avoided. Clover leaf interchanges that involve a non highway can be changed to park laws without too much reconstruction. Although the interchange's capacity is reduced, weaving is eliminated, increasing the safety and efficiency of the interchange. Diverging Diamond Interchange A diverging diamond interchange or double crossover diamond interchange is similar to a traditional diamond interchange, except the non highway lanes cross each other twice, once on each side of the highway. This allows all highway entrances and exits to avoid crossing the opposite direction of travel and saves one signal phase of traffic lights each. The first DDIs were built in France in the 1970s. Despite the fact that such interchanges already existed, the idea for the DDI was reinvented around 2000, inspired by the former synchronized split phasing type freeway to freeway interchange between Interstate 95 and I 695 north of Baltimore. The first diverging diamond interchange in the United States opened on July 7, 2009, in Springfield, Missouri, at the junction of Interstate 44 on Missouri Route 13. Single Point Urban Interchange A single point urban interchange, often abbreviated to SPUI, is a modification of the diamond interchange and has its ramps meet at one point, usually on the overpass underpass of the non highway. This requires only one set of traffic signals, increasing its efficiency and capacity when compared to a diamond. Freeways in the Phoenix, Arizona metropolitan area are great examples of the utilization of SPUI interchanges. Some examples of SPUI are along Arizona State Route 51 from downtown Phoenix all the way to Loop 101, another location where SPUI is common. Some single-point urban interchanges have appeared in rural areas, such as U.S. Route 23 with State Highway 59 in the U.S. state off of Michigan. Therefore, while single-point urban interchange is the most common name for this type, it is sometimes called a single-point diamond interchange instead. Other hybrid interchanges, highway-non-highway -highway hybrid interchanges consist of diamond and partial clover leaf elements. Their construction can consist of multiple interchange designs such as loop ramps, flyovers, and roundabouts. One form of the roundabout interchange can be used to connect a highway with a non-highway. It uses a single roundabout, rotary, or traffic circle which spans the highway as an over-underpass. Such junctions can be improved by adding a flyover for straight-through traffic on the non-freeway, creating the roundabout interchange. The three-level diamond interchange is three levels high, and it handles interchanging ramps via four intersections. This kind of an interchange can also be used to connect two highways together, but due to the use of intersections, its traffic is not free-flowing. See also, free-flow interchange, grade separation, intersection, junction, and used highway, references. External links, kurumi.com U.S. Interchanges Directory. Glossary, part of the publication Highway Design Handbook for Older Drivers and Pedestrians by the Turner Fairbank Highway Research Center branch of the U.S. Federal Highway Administration, detailed history of interchanges with diagrams.